Um, I've been homeless for two years, and uh, I happen to be at a store. Tiffany Garner was homeless and pregnant, shopping in a liquor store this past November when she met Tony Johnson, who had just started as a pregnancy coach at Her Health First. When I met Tiffany, she explained to me that she was homeless with her three children, and she is pregnant, and after that, I just put on my running shoes and did all the resources and found all the resources. <laughs> Thanks to Johnson, Garner and her children now have shelter and access to health care and parenting education. My advice personally for all my young youth and definitely pregnant moms is to get in this program. It's, it's here, it's free, and they, they help. They help, period. This life-changing relationship falls under the umbrella of the Black Child Legacy Campaign. One of the partners. Sacramento County supervisors heard good news at their meeting Tuesday. They learned that a major community effort to reduce the number of African-American child deaths is working. It really does take the community to save the community, and our data here represents that today. Kendra Montgomery Block leads the Black Child Legacy Campaign, a community-driven and supervisors supported movement to reduce the deaths of African-American children. The numbers released Tuesday from 2016 show black youth deaths are on the decline in three of the four leading causes of death for that group. Infant sleep-related deaths, child abuse and neglect homicides, and third-party homicides all saw decreases thanks to the more than 70 community partners countywide. And there are strategies that they're implementing on the ground in neighborhoods to save lives. Lives like Tiffany Garner's. You're not alone. You're not doing it by yourself. Becca Habiger, ABC 10 News.